40,000 Penn State students are set to return to the University Park campus in just over a month. Meantime, college officials are still working on plans to combat COVID-19 when students come back. As part of the process, they've changed their strategy for isolating students who may contract coronavirus. Arvin Hinkley explains the university's reason behind the move. Originally, Penn State's student quarantine zone was the Nittany Lion Inn, but now that's been changed to a student residence hall on campus. The new student isolation zone, part of the Eastview Terrace Residence Hall. It has single rooms with private bathrooms, ideal for isolation. Penn State says they're making the switch because the Nittany Lion Inn has conference rooms where larger classes can be held, space that's in demand right now on campus. But some students are concerned about the change because the new quarantine zone is closer to the heart of campus and downtown State College, areas where the virus may be more likely to spread. It made more sense to me if the student gets sick, send them like kind of on the outskirts of campus where they can't really see a lot of people and they can actually quarantine. Ryan Kensinger feels students may be tempted by the social scene nearby. Penn State is known as a very social school, so are they going to actually be in these zones or are they going to be out trying to go to the bars, trying to see their friends? Penn State has not announced any plans on if it will be up to students to self-isolate or whether it will be enforced. With the switch, the Nittany Lion Inn will also now have single student housing for 233 students. And Penn State says room assignments for the Nittany Lion Inn will be released in a couple of weeks. Now, as for students who've lost their room due to an isolation room, Penn State says they'll reach out to those students about other housing options. Reporting in Center County, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.